<laughs> okay, to quote a classic line, now for something completely different. I got a car! So, viewers of my channel know that I focus mainly on flying vehicles, mainly mostly aircraft and occasionally rotorcraft. But this time I, I had an opportunity to take a look at something that I just couldn't pass up. And in the case, it's this TRX4 Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6, say that three times fast. This is a, a new Traxxas 6x6 that is six wheel drive, uh, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's a rock crawler kind of thing. Um, yes, I'm showing my ignorance in that I don't really follow car stuff all that much anymore. Well, when I was a kid, I used to do a lot of car stuff, but that was the old days of uh, Tamiya car that you built uh, from pieces like a plastic model. This thing apparently comes mostly complete and ready to run, and it's got all kinds of features that I didn't even know RC cars have. And I'm looking at the things like, it does that? Really? What does that do? So, you know, sometimes it's good to get out of your comfort zone. And so when I had opportunity, I was uh, just kind of walking into my local hobby shop, uh, Samano's Hobbies here in South Houston, and uh, just buying some airplane parts. And lo and behold, I said, hey, we've got this new vehicle. It just came in. In fact, it's so new, they can't even sell it yet. But they said, hey, if you want to take it home and do a little unboxing video and try it out for yourself and, and uh, just you know, let the audience know that these things are coming out. And I said, Okay, you know, give it a shot, man. I never tried a rock crawler, and this thing looks like it has all kinds of fantastic features. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's do some ground pounding thing and take this thing out of the box and take a look and uh, give you my thoughts. As soon as I open it up. Okay, let's open her up. Let's get this out. Wow, look at that. Already built. Look at that. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you later. And so it's got a, first thing I noticed is it's got a pre-painted body. Look at this. Yeah, I kind of like that. So we got the roll bar. We've got some uh, very nice details. We've got uh, door handles, uh, view view mirror, side mirrors that is, uh, sun shield. And uh, yeah, I heard this thing. Now, this is really nice. It has apparently a whole bunch of lights in here. I don't know how well you can see it, but there appears to be some sort of lighting module here. And a whole bunch of wires and connectors. So it looks like we've got tail lights and headlights and what is it? Overhead lights, I guess. All kinds of lights. So she's wired up. Okay, so I'm just gonna start picking out random things that just kinda comes to mind with this thing. So this is really, I'm just overwhelmed my sensory overload. We've got an RC truck with six wheels. And the first thing I notice it's got a nice suspension on it. Look at this. Up, down, left, right. Um, we'll take a look. It's, now it doesn't have independent suspension, of course, but it does have, the three sets of wheels have their own suspension. They have a torsion bar, it looks like, and you can, that's pretty darn neat. Uh, interesting that the axles are telescoping because you need that because of the angles. And there's a little, you've got an axle that goes through the first transmission here, differential, and then the second differential. And they can, oh, look at that, they can really, you can see then in the center here, how it really can move really well. And very well articulated, that is. It's got some Torsion bars, like the metal torsion bars. This is really neat looking. It's like uh, they scale down a real car. With the, that just, I can do this all day. Look at this. <laughs> so we got oil filled shocks on there, the coilover springs. That's the normal stuff. Um, some really nice looking. Oh wow! Look at that. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, noob me. I just noticed that now we have. The, of course, the shaft that goes to the differential, but there looks to be another gear reduction off of the output of the axle here. So I don't know what kind of gear reduction is up here. Normally, cars I notice have a gear reduction up right off the motor. This probably does too, but there's a further gear reduction down at the axles. That's neat. Uh, that's really neat. 
Uh, I don't know if this is no that's normal or not, mm -hmm. but hey, hey, I just noticed it, so that's pretty cool. Some nice detail, you got split mufflers here, dual exhaust. Uh, some frame detail, you got the, the, the fenders, some really nice uh, molding on the plastic for the fenders. I did, the, there's a metal frame that runs the length of the chassis, which is really nice. So this thing should really be durable. I can just barely see the front steering servo in there. Hopefully you can see that. It's just right. I don't know if you can, can see it from this angle, but it's right in there. That's really neat. Some nice tires. Can't tell if there's some foam in there or not. It kind of feels like it. Uh, Mercedes-Benz logo in the middle. That's fantastic. Uh, looking around, so we have a 550 can motor in here. So it's a brush motor, so if you're looking for a brushless setup, this is not it. Uh, we'll see how well this does with a brush motor, but you got the, uh, it's got a, a magnet ring on it. Standard 550, probably Bubucci-ish, whatever, can motor. Does look like there's a bit of a, a takeoff gear here. And what else do I see? So it looks like we have the battery holder, right? Yeah, there it is. If you can see that, there's a little, little thing here. It slides in. I think it does. There we go. It holds the battery. Comes out. Flips up. Very nice. So looking around, I see there's a speed controller, of course. This blue thing. XL5 3S ESC. That's one thing I didn't notice that this is good for both 2S and 3S, uh, which is interesting for the for the brush motor like that. This has adjustable speed transmission, a two-speed transmission, if I remember correctly, so it looks like a servo for that. Yep. And locking transmissions. And uh, I guess these servos are for that here. I see a cable. Yeah. Yeah, see, I can turn the wheel, then I move the servo, and it locks. That's pretty neat. And it looks like there's, wow, there's three cables. I suppose that uh, you can lock the rears and the fronts. So it looks like there's two servos, one for the rear, and there's a Y connection, two for the rear. You can see right here. So front servo, rear, locking, speed controller, and I guess that's about it. Additional nice details. Looks like the receiver is under this little, um, protective covering here. I understand it's pretty much waterproof, so you can run this thing around and not hurt anything. I think the servos are waterproof. There is a little box here. I'm not sure what this is. I see the speed controller kind of connects into it. There's a little box right here. Oh, it might be for the lights. I think that's what that's for. Stick that on. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, I can't wait to run this thing. Now, this is this looks to be a lot of fun. Uh, plus, it's got six wheels. I like that. Have I mentioned it's got six wheels? It's got six wheels. This is interesting. You've got toggle switch at the top. And a little red switch thing on the bottom. Of course, your trigger. Steering. Uh, the steering trim. Something called a multifunction. Neutral, what is that? There's a little switch here. Oh, it changes the, uh, okay, the, the throttle neutral point. A couple of buttons, menu and set. I guess you, there's some settings on your transmitter. Again, complete noob. I have no idea what this little toggle switch is for. This little red switch, I self-destruct, I, I don't know. But that's why they have a manual. So I will read the manual and charge up some batteries. Now I have to say, transmitter fits really good in the hand. Really comfortable, it's got a nice ergonomic grip. Uh, I haven't put batteries in it yet, but it probably will have a decent uh, weight and balance. We'll check it out. Of course, the only thing is it's for holding it in your left hand. So if you're left-handed, it's not quite what you want. So <laughs> I'm not sure how that's gonna work. So maybe they'll make a left-handed version, but if you're right-handed, it's fantastic. It's really nice. I was curious about the light, so after removing the last bits of protective covering, I then proceeded to connect up the single lighting connector. There's only one way the connector will fit. Plug in the battery, then press the arm button to turn everything on. 
and she lights up like a Christmas tree. Mostly. Huh. One well, the lights is not working. One of the running lights was unfortunately dead out of the box. It's dead, Jim. Yeah, so I'm going to test out the differential here. So this is differential off. You see how they turn in opposite directions? Okay. Turn the front differential on. And now they're locked. Now it's locked. But now notice, the rears are not locked. They are still... So go into all, and now they're locked. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Same thing for the rear two. So now you got full six wheel drive, no differential. I also noticed that the steering angles are very aggressive. That is a lot of steering. With the AMG all charged up and ready to go, it was off to the local crawler track, which I had never visited before. What I found looked really nice with a variety of obstacles and terrain, even a long bridge. I also had a bit of company while I was there. Okay, so I'm here with a new Traxxas AMG 63 six by six Mercedes-Benz. And I've, this is really neat. I've gone to this uh, rock crawler park. I had no idea it existed in the next town over from me. And uh, so we thought it was a perfect place to give this thing a test try out. Plus the fact that I've never done this before. So I'm bound to screw this up royally, but I thought I'd give it a shot. It should be a lot of fun. So let's go uh, give it a shot. It was time to prove the power of the AMG. Could the grip of six wheels handle this small step? Let's find out. Ah, uh, a mere speed bump. With that meager milestone passed, I decided to try something a little more adventurous. One has to crawl before one, uh, crawls even more, I guess. Here the Traxxas AMG suspension starts showing its flexibility in handling the curves and bumps. My confidence rising, it was on to something more vertical. Which didn't go as planned. <laughs> Where'd you learn how to drive? You suck at this. Time to shut that annoying cameraman up. All right, let's try to power all wheel drive. Now that all six wheels were locked by three differentials, the AMG came alive. Once I steered in the right direction. Oh, look at that. It's right up there. Yes. I was truly on a roll now. The tractor seemed unstoppable. Large obstructions only delayed the inevitable transgression. Despite my clumsy driving, I never ceased being amazed at the terrain the AMG was able to transverse. It was like watching some sort of mechanical dance routine. Mostly. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Uh, I hope they don't mind a few scratches. But once I found my footing, I was king of the hill. Oh no! Oh, oh, don't! My ego thoroughly bruised, we decided to try the tire bridge. A simple but fun exercise that kept me on my toes. By this time, I had learned to use the throttle more precisely as well. The bridge was much more narrow in practice than it looked, but not overly difficult to run. That said, the gap in the rocks at the end posed a bit of a challenge. Ooh, that doesn't look good. We need to cut your wheels more to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little tactical assistance from cameraman Jeff. 
<laughs> Through trial and error, much error, I was finally able to make it out of the gauntlet and onto stable ground. Still craving more, I spent more time experimenting with the other parts of the track. Despite the occasional missed approach, the Traxxas AMG pretty much overcame whatever predicament I could get her into. It was like driving my own personal six-wheeled gecko. Man, as long as it clears a bumper, there's really no stopping this thing. Seemingly unfazed by any inclination I subjected her to. Then cameraman Jeff insisted he give it a try so as to show me his expertise. Does it have a lower gear? And by expertise, I mean his total lack of any. Despite his best attempts, nothing was broken and we went on to enjoy the rest of our time with the six-wheeled wonder. Then I had one last test. All my driving had been with the two-cell lipo pack and I was curious as of the speed upgrade with the three-cell battery pack. So switching back to unlock differentials, I used my GPS logger to do the high-speed run on two cells. Ah, seven miles per hour. <laughs> okay. Don't run any races, but okay, good baseline. Next was the three cell pack. Even at 5,000 milliamp hours, there was no issue with fitting it in. <laughs> the, the jump in speed was very obvious. What? 12. Not quite double, but a significant increase in top end speed. Okay, so normally I usually have the model I'm reviewing proudly displayed at my side while I wax lyrically about my impressions. But since I had to give it back, I'm left with just this poster. Actually, they probably want this poster back too. Anyways, the Traxxas AMG 6x6 turned out to be a really fun vehicle. Surprisingly maneuverable and once you clear the bumper, seemingly unstoppable. Rock crawling is something totally new to me and I can kind of see the allure of it. It's not something you rush doing as it takes determination and critical thinking to do well. It's almost as if you're playing chess with a terrain, where you can go from Zerg's Wang to checkmate in an instant. Despite my terrible driving, I had a great time and I found this 6x6 not only fun to drive, but simply amazing to watch in action. So long, my little hexa wheeled friend. I hardly knew ya. <laughs> Where'd you learn how to drive? <laughs>